Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I am going to very quickly introduce my philosophy channel. So I did have a crypto channel and I did introduce it on one of these videos. So I wasn't really going to do one of these videos for the introduction of a philosophy channel because, you know, I've already done an intro for another channel. So I didn't just want to put another one of these videos out there promoting another channel, right? Um, but I did see on Thursday Talks and I've seen on Insta a few people who would want to uh, get involved with a philosophy channel and stuff and I thought it would be nice, it would be personal to do an actual video on it rather than just doing a quick Instagram post. I mean I will do an Instagram post to go along with this video and I probably will do a little community post with this video uh, on, you know, inlaid in it on YouTube. Um, but you know, I like to be a bit more personal. So. And I like to talk, you know, I'm just, I just love to talk, you know, by now. Um, so I did, I don't know what I just mentioned, but I did my crypto channel. Yeah, I did. I just mentioned, I'm like a goldfish. I can't remember what happened 10 seconds ago. Um, yeah, so I did my crypto channel. I don't know why, maybe it was a fact that um, I felt like I didn't have enough time to do it or I was getting a bit overwhelmed with it or it just wasn't a huge passion of mine or as much as a passion as I thought it was to do a channel, you know, a YouTube channel based around it. But I seemed to stop that cryptocurrency channel for whatever reason. Um, and maybe it was the fact that it was not monetized, the channel. So, you know, and because I didn't have so much passion for... When you don't have passion for something, you tend to look for the money. Because the money is a... Um, something to grab onto. If you're not passionate about something, you can say to yourself, oh, well, at least it pays well, you know? So you, you, you get into a job that you don't like that much, but that's got a good, good amount of money. The money turns your head a little bit and you can kind of just look past uh, some of the, the things you don't particularly like with the job, let's say. Um, so sometimes that's what I've done in the past with, with ventures that I've had. Uh, the money turns my head and... Um, you know, the the job might not be completely me or I might not have complete passion in it, but I can see the money. I think, oh, well, the money's tempting. You know, maybe maybe that can um, turn the blinders on to these other factors kind of thing. So it could have been to do with that. Now, I, um, if reselling wasn't, it, sorry, if money wasn't a thing, I probably wouldn't do reselling, right? Um... And I know that's kind of paradoxical in its nature in some way because reselling, the act of buying and selling has to include money in some form, even if it's um, some sort of, I suppose, bartering system or swapping of items or something like that. That in itself is somewhat a form of, of currency or money. So, yeah, it's quite paradoxical to say that. But I can assure you that there are people out there that even if money didn't exist, they would still resell. Don't know how the hell they'd do it, but they're that passionate about reselling that they would find a way to resell without money because that's their passion, that's their truth, that's their intrinsic nature. Um, and for me, if money wasn't a thing, I wouldn't do reselling. That's not to say I don't love it, I really do love it, but it's not the intrinsic burning desire, passion, duh, you know? Uh, duh, whatever duh is. Um, but when I think of philosophy, and this is just a thought, I don't know whether this is true, you know, I can never really be 100% sure on, on whether this is the one thing, this is my calling, this is my drive, this is my, my sole purpose or whatever, if you believe in fate or destiny or whatever. But when I think of philosophy, and I think, right, money exists, will I be a philosopher? Yes, whether it be an amateur philosopher, whether it be whatever, you know, but that's what I like. So if money exists, I'm going to do it money didn't exist, would I still come on wherever it may be, YouTube, will I sit in a chair, and will I still philosophise to people? The answer seems to me that yes, I would, because I'm not getting paid for it at the moment anyway, and I'm doing it. So it's kind of, it is like I'm, I'm living in that realm of money, money doesn't exist with it anyway. Um, so that's, that tells me that maybe, aside from the crypto channel, but this channel, Maybe I won't burn out with it. Maybe I will uh, continue it. Now, with that being said, I do want to elaborate a little bit on that. Um, in the fact that, essentially, I am only going to be doing around one video a week on the channel. I'm going to try and be as conscientious as I can. 
Um, I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do the videos. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to take it anywhere. Um, I simply just need an outlet to get all of this passion out and to thrust it in some sort of video uh, form. So that is essentially what the channel is going to be about. It's going to be quite a selfish channel, really, in the sense of uh, me needing to get out this information. It's not going to be selfish, selfish in the sense of I'm going to be a, a selfless idiot on the channel or whatever. But um, yeah, but it's selfless, selfish in the fact that I need, I feel I need to get this information out, and that's probably the best way um, to do so. So that being said, I'm not going to plead anyone to subscribe. I'm not going to say anything like that. I'm literally just going to say, link will be down below. If you want to go over there, then please do be my guest. Um, you know, if you like the Thursday talk stuff, if you like the rambles on Thursday talks that I do, um, it's kind of like that, but they're a lot more clean cut or clear cut even. I don't clean cut, clear cut. I think it's clear cut. They're a lot more clear cut. Um, they're maybe a little bit more serious, but not terribly serious at the end of the day. Um, but they're, they're definitely a bit more refined, you know, than, than just the rambles on Thursday talks. But if you like that kind of subject, if you like that kind of, you know, those, those rambles in Thursday talks, you might enjoy this and it might be for you. If it isn't for you, please don't bother going over there. Please don't bother subscribing because you, you, what's the point? You know, like you're basically subscribing to a channel that you don't like. You're subscribing to a channel that you're you're not interested in it, it, there's just not m no point doing it so if you want to support me if you want to go over there and uh, and i say if you want to support me but only support me if you yourself actually feel as if you want to watch the videos don't go over there just because you think oh you know i want to support adam but i'm not too bothered about the philosophy videos only go over there and i plead with you i really would like this only go over there if you genuinely genuinely think ah oh, you know what actually i'd quite like to see some philosophy videos because i want to build a community of people over there who actually really want to see that really maybe are invested in me as a person it's somewhat but are invested in the subjects that i'm talking about as well there's no need for for people to go over there who just simply aren't invested in the subjects and anyone who goes over there i'll be incredibly grateful of the support over there and um yeah so just make the decision on your own part check it out if you want you don't necessarily need to subscribe to the channel over there but just check it out if you think that if you're a bit on the fence like you're not sure whether it's for you or not um then maybe just check it out maybe check one of the videos out and just think um yeah um, it might be for me um that being said i think by the time this video goes up i'll probably have about three two or three videos up up on that channel already i've got another four or five um in various stages of production obviously either filmed but not edited or edited and filmed but no thumbnail done all the rest of it so i've got uh, yeah about another five videos like that um so there is definitely going to be a few videos coming on the channel um but we'll see for how long this lasts we'll see uh, where this goes and, and it, if it goes anywhere and I'm quite happy just talking about the, the subjects on that channel that I'm talking about because it's, um, it's something that I really love and it's something that I get a lot of passion and joy out of so with that being said guys thank you very much for anyone who is uh, supporting me um, thank you very much for everyone who watches this channel of course and continues to watch this channel I still actually get amazed that Every week after Thursday Talks, and I think to myself, it's normally about Saturday, Sunday, I look at Thursday Talks at the analytics or the, you know, the views, and I'm like, three or four hundred people continue to watch me, even when on one of, like, some Thursday Talks episodes, I speak utter nonsense, yet people still continue to watch. It's incredible, I just don't sometimes i just don't understand it you know it just doesn't it may just be the copious copious amounts of self-loathing i have um but <laughs> something inside me just doesn't understand it you know um but anyway i'll leave it there i wanted this to be like three minutes and i think it's like eight minutes at the moment so i apologize um link will be down in the description channel name is armchair philosophy because obviously i'm an amateur philosopher 
you know, just essentially like someone sat in an armchair generally philosophizing about various different things so i thought it would be a good name and it also has like, like a nice ring to it. it it has a nice um it's just a nice brand name as well it just it just seemed it seemed to fit it seemed to fit um so yeah with that being said i'll leave it there and i will see you in the next one